Republican. I'm definitely not a Democrat. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm looking at this from the side of common sense, from reality, statistics, and facts. And it does look like the left overall, it, it, the ultra left, does want to completely take everything down with them and yeah. raise the tax to 100%. Well, it's going to be interesting to see how this breaks down. And I'm interested to see what people think about it because NPR and other people were saying that, well, we've got uh, Rand Paul out there talking about libertarian issues, about freedom issues, about non interventionism. And of course, they want to portray that as isolationism. John Bolton is saying, what we've got now is isolationism. Really? When we go to the to the border of Russia and try to start a hot war with them, try to start the Cold War, they consider that to be isolationism. That is scary. That is real scary. We're going to be back. Take your calls right after this break. Stay tuned. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine if you're sick, tired, and obese. When you visit InfoWarsHealth.com, be sure and check out the catalog with nearly 400 life-changing products. And get free shipping when you sign up for AutoShip. In the last 50 years, iodine has been phased out of our staple foods and replaced with the halogen bromine, a practice now banned in nations around the world. Guess what else is in the halogen family? Fluoride. Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Jones here. In 1924, the federal government did the right thing and encouraged salt producers to add iodine. It's the good halogen on the periodic table. And the results are on record, reports documented, a 15-point IQ increase in areas that had previously been deficient in iodine. Bottom line, iodine is important. Unbound, clean, in a glycerin base, nascent iodine was the answer for myself and my family. You will find Survival Shield nascent iodine exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. InfoWars Life Survival Shield nascent iodine isn't just for emergencies. I take it every day. That's InfoWarsLife.com or call toll-free 888-253-3139. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. 
Coast to Coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. We are on the march. The empire is on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight, live here in studio with Anthony Gucciardi. And we were just talking before the break about what was going on with CPAC. What's really going on with the heart and soul of the Republican Party? Well, you know, some of it doesn't ever seem to change. We've got John McCain saying when he was asked by MSNBC's Andrea Mitchell about the options for a U.S. attack on, get this, Russia. It's not Syria anymore or Libya. It's now Russia that they want to engage. McCain said... I'd love to tell you that there is an option about U.S. attacking Russia, Andrea, but frankly, I do not see it. I wish that, that, that there were. I don't see a military option, and it's tragic. He thinks it's tragic that we don't have a way that we can start a hot war with Russia. Of course, we're, we are trying to start the Cold War again. That's going to help his military-industrial complex buddies, isn't it? It's really, really tragic that we cannot start a nuclear holocaust via mm -hmm. World War III. That just makes a tear come to my eye. It's like you know Dr. Strangelove. Exactly. That? You know what else is really tragic? That they're pushing this over on the American people who 90% of the people that I've, at least from my understanding of this, based on all the user feedback, all the comments, all the social media response, are people that have just gone online and seen pictures of protesters from the Ukraine and heard that, oh, they're, they're hurting the protesters. Russia, they think that Russia is shooting them with sniper rifles when it was all US backed CIA takeover. But they think that Russia is the one attacking the protesters. Mm -hmm. And they think that Russia is invading them after attacking the protesters. That's how, how totally ignorant they are of this whole subject. And that's why they're able to go ahead and come on television and say, yes, we need to attack Russia. We need to start World War III over these protesters. And everyone, it just reminds me of the Occupy movement. It's, it's like every single time there's a protest, the protesters are immediately perfect. Like the American people love a good protest. Mm -hmm. So if it's if it's in another country, they don't even listen to the protest. Well, not always. They didn't like the Tea Party protest. Well, That's here, probably the bad. biggest no, protest no, no. I've seen in my lifetime, and they were here, demonized for bad. it, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But if it's in the Ukraine, yeah. then the protesters are great no matter what, and it's you know evil. Well, you know, the wisdom of the founding fathers was that we don't involve ourselves in foreign intrigue. You know, there's a lot of very complicated stuff there's going on there. Exactly. We've got we've got snipers that are shooting at both sides of the the protesters and the police. Who's behind those snipers? Well, we can argue about that. We can argue about why are these NGO organizations like John McCain's International Republican Institute? Why are they sending tons of money to the Ukraine? We can argue about that. Let's not get involved I'm in not that. Even want to get into the Ukraine exactly. scenario. I'm just yeah. saying because it's such an intense geopolitical situation. Mm -hmm. There's no good sides. But right. the only thing that would be good is to actually kind of know what's going on instead of having all this insane propaganda going out there to push World War III to the citizens that unfortunately have no idea what's even happening. Exactly. The, the, the insane thing would to be not get involved in this very complicated foreign intrigue. That was the foreign policy that served us very well. That was the wisdom of the founding fathers who advised us against that, to not go abroad seeking monsters to destroy and get not involved in their perpetual wars in Europe. We should do that, and we should not start World War III. Let's go to a call here. We've got uh, JT in Colorado. JT, you want to talk about uh, sanctions in the Ukraine? Hey, David. Hey. And uh, Anthony, good talking with both of you. Uh, yeah, the curious thing, when Obama decided that... Uh, uh, he was going to uh, sanction Russia uh, for, you know, them going in and protecting their time-honored long-time bases, that the first thing Putin did was say that he would stop importation of ammunition from the Soviet Union, 762-39 and 762-54 right. ammo. Well, who does that help, David? <laughs> exactly. I think that helps Obama. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a very complicated situation, isn't it? Hopefully, we can get somebody in who is going to make the case, as as we see. I think it's part of the popularity of Rand Paul is that he's making the case that we don't need to get involved and intervene in every single foreign war, and it gets piled intrigue on top of intrigue, and certainly that's going to be something that's going to affect us directly. 
There's also the pushback against the dollar. There's, there's the trade war that's going to erupt out of this. There's many, many, many dimensions. And every single war, whether it's a trade war, whether it's a cold war, whether it's a shooting war, who gets stronger? The governments do. The American government will get stronger from this. The Russians will get stronger from this. Every time there's a conflict like that, they use it. It is the lifeblood of the state, isn't it, Anthony? Well, yeah, I think the secret is why Rand Paul is gaining so much success, why Ted Cruz is gaining so much success, is they're simple. They lay it on the line. And not everyone's perfect, I understand that. But in many ways, they lay it on the line. Yes, I'm against the Federal Reserve. Mm -hmm. you know, yes, I'm against starting World War III with Russia. It's these simple little things any common sense person would be against. Yes. But it's like there's no political figure that's willing to go out and say that. Because it's all bought and paid for. They're all part of the establishment, so they won't do it. But it's like these key ones that go out and actually say what we want. You know, and, and, and people are, are tired of being manipulated into all of these conflicts. And Secret we understand simplicity. how they've been trying to, exactly. They understand how we've been manipulated and trying to get, them, get us involved in Syria and other places. Let's Thank you, uh, JT in Colorado. Let's go to Julio in Illinois. You want to talk about CPAC and GMOs? Uh, yes, good afternoon. Hope you guys had a uh, great weekend. Uh, you know, Anthony Gutierrez, I'm uh, a big fan of your work, and I did a documentary for the Infowar contest titled Genetically Modified Society. I'm trying to... You know what, that's a great film. I've seen that. Oh, well, thank you very much, Anthony. I appreciate it. I'd like to interview you. Uh, I'm trying to finish that documentary. I would like to interview you. Don't know of a way to do it. Well, just send us over an email. Send me a message on Facebook. But uh, did you want to talk about GMOs and CPAC? Yeah, uh, my comment on CPAC, uh, you know, I, I was watching it throughout the weekend, and, and David, you, you brought up the question on Friday during your show, and I was watching the can't conservatives and libertarians coexist. I was watching that part of CPAC, and Michael Medved, boy, this neocon, he really <laughs> loves to try to keep the two-party system, and he basically said in his entire speech that the only way libertarians can have any effect is if they join the Republican Party. I thought it was laughable, so they're trying to tame any third-party presence. And if, if you saw from the CPAC straw poll with, with uh, Rand Paul winning, one of the biggest surprises I saw was uh, Dr. Ben Carson. This man's not even talked about in terms of uh, the corporate establishment media, someone who's a, who's a contender. I personally don't think he's a contender. But to see that man, a black man actually talk about real conservative issues. I thought that was interesting. He finished in third place. And then finally, I was watching Meet the Corporate Press today on uh, the national propaganda channel, NBC. And David Gregory tried to blow off Rand Paul's uh, victory at CPAC, telling uh, Congressman Peter King, oh, you know, the, the, the winner of the CPAC really doesn't matter anymore. But Rand Paul won. And Peter King is trying to say that Rand Paul is, uh, his target audience is like the lowest grade of uh, individuals in the Republican Party, meaning uh, those who are libertarian-minded. And, and that just goes to show you who who these people really are, these neocons, these you know, yeah. Peter Kings. Well, they're the, like peacocks. Uh, they pretend they're no, all absolutely. huge and walk around and act like they're great and intelligent. But in reality, they have no followers or listeners. And that's why Drudge Report, the poll on there, Rand Paul's dominating as well with Ted Cruz, the real conservatives that are actually going to go out and change things. I think it's interesting with Ben Carson. Here's somebody who got involved speaking out against Obamacare. Just an honest citizen getting involved and standing up and saying, you know, what he thinks. And then he gets targeted, of course, by the IRS. And he didn't cower down. He stood up to it. That's very powerful. And, you know, Rand Paul is coming from a situation where he's not, has not been a lifetime career politician. People appreciate authenticity. We're going to be right back with your calls. Stay tuned. Globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency. Super Male Vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals. Super Male Vitality by InfoWars Life is so powerful that I only take half the recommendations.
recommended dose. For a limited time, we are offering 15% off Super Male Vitality at InfoWarsLife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement. Visit InfoWarsLife.com today to secure your Super Male Vitality. InfoWarsLife.com. 